Hello, fourth graders. Today I'll be talking to you about Unit 1, Lesson 12, which you are going to be practicing more addition and subtraction. This time, boys and girls, you're going to be using addition and subtraction in word problems. And some of your word problems are going to be having two-step problems. Let's take a look at this word problem. In this problem, it says, in the morning, 19 students were working on a science project. In the afternoon, three students left, and seven more students came to work on the project. How many students were working on the project at the end of the day? So boys and girls, when you're solving word problems, I like to highlight the important information that's going to help me solve the problem. So let me go back and read my problem. It says, in the morning, 19 students were working on the science project. So I'm going to say, I'm going to underline morning and 19 students because I know that 19 students were in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it's asking that three students left. So in the afternoon, three students left. So I'm going to underline afternoon and three students left. And then seven more students um, came to work. So those are my informations, like my important information that I'll underline. Then the second step to when you're solving word problem is, is you want to know what the question is asking, what you have to find out. So my question here says, how many students were working on the project at the end of the day? So they want to know how many students were working on the project at the end of the end of the day, not in the morning, not in the afternoon. They want to know at the end of the day. So here, boys and girls, we have Anita solved a problem one way, and then Chad solved his method one way using the same exact problem. So let's first look at Anita's method on how she solved her problem. It says write an equation for each step. Find the total of number of students who worked on the project. So what Anita first did is she made an addition problem. She said that 19 students, which we know worked on in the morning, and then seven students worked on it in the afternoon. So Anita added 19 plus seven, which that equals 26. Then remember, boys and girls, I had mentioned that this, we are gonna be talking about two-step problems because in my word problem, it said three students left. So I know that since someone left, that means that I have to take away. So then what Anita did was is she subtracted the number of students who left the room in the afternoon, which is 26 minus 3, which 26 minus 3, or which 26 minus 3 equals 23. So we know at the end of the day, there was 23 students. And remember, when we're working on word problems, you need to make sure you have a label. Now, let's look at Chad's method here. Chad did his method, his um, solving the equation a little bit differently. It says write an equation for the whole problem. So he, instead of doing two separate problems, he made one whole problem. It says let in equal the number of students working on the project at the end of the day. So students who left. So he started with 19 students because remember, there was 19 students who started in the morning. Then in the word problem, it said that three students left. So that's where I'm going to put that blank there is that three because three students left. Plus seven students came at the end of af in the afternoon. So now, boys and girls, the way that I would solve this problem since I filled in my blank is I am going to start from left to right. So I'm going to minus 19 minus 3. And I'm going to use this little helpful. I'm going to draw an arrow here because 19 minus 3 equals 16. Now, plus I have this 7 
plus 7, which equals 16 plus 7 equals 23, which I had 23 students. And I'm going to kind of write it up like this. So that was two different ways, boys and girls, that you could solve this word problem. Let me show you another problem. And this again, boys and girls, is going to be a two-step word problem. So my word problem says the school library has 288 science books. Altogether, the library has 618 science and animal books. How many fewer science books than animal books does the library have? So again, remember the step one when you're solving word problem is, problems is underlining the important information. So here it says the school library has 288 science books. So I'm going to be underlining 288 science books. All together, and I'm going to underline that all together because normally all together means to add, but let's find out to see if we have to. All together, there's 618 science and animal books. So those 618 are science plus the animal books. So those are combined together. So I underline that. And then the second part of the question is, or the second part of when you're solving word problems are, is you want to find out what the question is, what you're trying to solve. So my question says, how many fewer science books than animal books does the library have? So I'm going to underline this in a different color, like how many fewer science books than animal books? So first, boys and girls, is I know how many science there books there are, but I don't know how many animal books there are. I just know science and how many books there are all together. So the way that I would have to solve this problem is I would have to subtract 618 because that's how many books there are all together minus the 288, which that is the science books. So I'm going to subtract this. 8 minus 8 is 0. 1 minus 8, there's more on the floor, so I have to go next door. So that 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So now I know that 333 is how many animal books there are. But boys and girls, it didn't ask me how many animal books there were. My question asked how many fewer science books than animals. So now that I found out how many science and animal books there are, I'm going to subtract my animal with my science. Because they want to know how many fewer. So 0 minus 8, I have to go next door which that's going to become a 2, and my 0 is going to become a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 8, there's more on the floor, so I have to go next door, which that becomes a 2. My 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4, and then 2 minus 2 is 0. So there are 42 fewer science books than there are animal books. Okay. So boys and girls, that was a couple ways to solve two-step word problems. I hope this was helpful and we'll talk more about this in class. Have a great day.